Welcome back to Doom. Now, please read the caption on this loading screen. Pause the video if you have to, but please read it. After running more diagnostics on the active Praetor suit, it appears that I can accelerate the upgrading of your arsenal by measuring your combat effectiveness. I have added a tracker to your helmet's display. The facility will not allow you access to the turbine room unless the demonic threat level is brought down inside the foundry. Our security systems cannot be overridden. Okay, so the challenges are killing three possessed with a barrel and I'm trying to do here, which is why the pistol is out, but for some reason there are no possessed nor barrels here, which is not how I remember this level. Odd. Stun bomb is one of the two plasma gun upgrades that I consider more useful, but ultimately I don't use either one of them. So yeah, normally I remember this level having more possessed here, but for some reason there are none. Well, we'll get our chance. Or will we? Now, the Foundry is actually, to me personally, the second worst level to navigate. And this is because this is one of the levels that is not linear. You can, you can go wherever you want, well, or rather to whichever area is not locked yet. And sometimes it will wreak havoc on the triggers for enemy spawns, but I don't think we're gonna see any of that here in this video. Maybe in the next one. Okay, now, this is the yellow card, but there's also the blue card. The blue card you're not meant to get until a lot later into the level, until about halfway through the level. With that being said... Query. What does a man to the sequences? Answer. A man breaks them. You can go all the way up here because you're not meant to get here because we jumped from a railing. And here you can get a blue keycard. The blue keycard, I'm sorry. But we will not do that because we want to play the level the way it was intended. But this opportunity, this thing is here. And uh, I think it should be used in speedruns, but I don't know, maybe there are bigger skips. Enter the Hell Knight. Remember the Hell Knights as they were in Doom 3? The slow, useless, threatless damage sponges. Yeah, they're fast here. They're specially bred for combat. Meaning that the demons are civilized enough to be able to specially breed something for something else. So they are a civilization after all. Yeah, tactical scope. Tactics. Now let's go and make use out of our yellow keycard, shall we? And by make use out of a yellow keycard, I mean, of course, find the classic Doom Room.
and you will find that this one is the absolute best in the game. As always, I'm upgrading ammo because I still run out of ammo as of yet. Not shotgun ammo anymore, but I do run out of ammo for plasma rifle and assault rifle occasionally. And now the labyrinth. Whoever made that ought to be very proud of themselves. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot. In the uh, upper right corner of the screen, of the display, of the HUD, you have these uh, five uh, gray shaded weapon upgrade markers. If you kill everything in the level, well, not even everything, most of the stuff in the level, like 90-something percent, you will get all five weapon upgrade points per level. Which is the reason why uh, you will not find yourself short on weapon upgrade points ever in the game at all. Now getting all five of them will occasionally include you uh, going into non-secret optional areas, which some of the levels have, but most of the time it will just involve completing the level. So you will essentially get five weapon upgrade points per level guaranteed, even if you find zero secrets. Which, trust me, it's impossible to not find a single secret unless you, like, make a point of not getting any secrets. Here I'm trying to get that uh, barrel explosion possessed challenge, but to no avail, unfortunately. Now let's get another secret, shall we? This is the rocket launcher. What it does is it launches rockets in the direction of your crosshair and afterwards, upon impact, they blow up.
Also, I'm not sure why the trigger for the secret is there and not, uh, and not getting the gun itself. It makes no sense. Because it's possible to get the gun without actually triggering the secret. Yes, this thing, this collectible, I just forgot about. Huh, <laughs> vault guy. Bethesda. Memes. It is an easter egg. And I have a confession to make. Uh, I didn't play Fallout 4, I played Fallout 3, I absolutely hated it. Uh, because I absolutely hated Oblivion and Fallout 3 felt like little more than a big Oblivion mod. So yeah, an unpopular opinion right there. This is not a very good place to fight a Hell Knight. By the way, a shotgun is in fact the correct choice of weapon to fight Hell Knights. Actually, you can fight Hell Knights with just about everything, even though they are fast and are actually threatening this time. Everything except pistol will kill them. So, now we learn about Samuel Hayden the first, a prodigy at physics, but was diagnosed with brain cancer and spent the rest of his life, the last half a year, learning how to transfer a conscience into, an, into a cyborg. And now I'm gonna curb stomp everything to get that bloody challenge, and it will almost kill me. And this is a Hellraiser. Welcome. This is a... it's... Well, I treat it as an upgraded version of a possessed soldier. What this thing is, is it is a demon that has a laser cannon for his arm, and this laser cannon is made out of cartilage. I just summarized the codex entry for you. You're welcome. And thus I learned that uh, jumping and grabbing onto a ledge, ledge cancels the animation for, for the collectible. So sad. Okay, now this is actually one of those cases where the auto map plays a trick on you because it shows you <laughs> that this is a passage, but it's not. And the actual passage is where the auto map shows you that there is no passage. Over here. Wow. Rising. Challenge complete, finally. Okay, now we have some evil demons to kill, but first let's get the automat. Because that's more fun than shooting demons. Well, that was inappropriately underwhelming for a gore nest. Wow, 
why would you use any weapons that aren't shotgun, really? And that bloody pillar almost killed me. And this is why I cannot play this game on Nightmare. And that was scary. The game just told us that we are only one-fifth of the way into the level. That is not actually true. Now there is a Praetor token to be gained, but first let's get the blue keycard. Let's get the blue keycard. Let's get the blue keycard. Yes, this is how you would get it ordinarily. And now let's go get that uh, Praetor token. Now I am going to take the longer way, for no reason whatsoever, but it will have one uh, unexpected consequence. Anytime now. As I said earlier in the video, the open nature of this level screws with the triggers. Oh, where did you come from? The blind council is a joke, if you ask me. Yes, now let's go use the blue keycard. You know what, I can handle this once, but two times, that is just insulting. By the way, I never spoke of health stations, they are just one-time uh, health, ki health kits that will top off your health. Yeah, that went nowhere, that's it. Okay, now it's time to kill some evil demons. That was probably the most use I've made out of a grenade in my entire time playing this game. Ah, another Hell Knight in close quarters. Perfect. And move humanity into the future. Demonic threat reduced by 50%. And that will be enough for now. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.